There's a verse of Torah that I and others found to be quite relevant last year. In this week's Torah portion, Bo, the plagues upon Egypt continue, including the plague of darkness. A thick darkness descended upon all the land of Egypt for three days. And the Torah tells us that people could not see one another. And for three days, no one could get up from where they were. This darkness is much like the experience of quarantining, not seeing another person for days on end and being confined to one's home. This moment is eerily reminiscent of where we were last year. As we face the spread of Omicron, organizations are wrestling with a decision of whether to stay open or not. And many individuals both in and outside of our community have been exposed and are thus forced to quarantine. However, the Torah continues, all the Israelites enjoyed light in their homes. Much of Jewish practice is reliving the story of the Exodus from Egypt. And so just as our ancestors did, we must enjoy the light in such dark times. And here at Temple Israel, our collective Jewish home, we will literally and figuratively do what we can to keep our lights on. We will continue to come together in person and spread light to those in darkness. And to do that, we need to be flexible and respond as the situation develops. We need to be consistent in our safety protocols with masking, social distancing, and of course, vaccinations. And finally, we need to be very mindful of the vulnerable members of our community affected by this variant and to be sure that they do not face it alone. This means offering all of our programs in a hybrid platform and staying in touch, offering help and a willing ear to listen so that our light can be shared with them. Ken ye hiratson, may we be safe, may we be mindful, and may we bring light to our times. See you soon.